it's always a delight to be at uh, at, at St. Joe's, but today it's kind of fun because I have two of my former students. And I was thinking that maybe it would be good to start this homily by asking them some canon law questions to see what they remember. So I guess you know who did their homework and who didn't. A few days ago, I realized that I need some new smoke detectors in my house. So being the Home Depot aficionado that I am, off I went. And I was nosing around in Home Depot for a bit and couldn't find what I was looking for. So I finally found this guy who was just kind of standing in the aisle with his orange apron on. And I said, you have smoke detectors? Oh, yes, sir. Come right over here. So we did, and we walked right over to the smoke detector section. And um, I was standing there looking at the smoke detectors, and I reached for this one, and he said, no, put that back. <laughs> yes, sir. And I, I put it back, and he said, that's not what you want. Oh, no, you want this. He gave me this other one, he said. This is for carbon monoxide and smoke. Buy this. And I looked at it, and sure enough, that's what it was. And I thought, okay, I can, I can go with that. This is, this is what I want. So I said, okay, thank you. He said, tell your wife you bought the right thing. And I said, well, we really don't talk. <laughs> and I took my smoke detector and walked away and the guy just kind of looked at me and just, he went that way and I went that way. What is it about people giving us commands that can kind of just get under our skin? What is it about people giving us those, those directives that make us want to just walk away almost immediately? And we do it too. Ask anyone in your family. Ask anyone in the classroom. <laughs> Sometimes our words can have such a piercing tone. Whether we realize it or not, we may want to accomplish something, but in a subtle way, we destroy. And yet we've heard a lot of commands recently. Wear a mask. No dining in restaurants. Get the vaccine. It's almost to the point where we begin to wonder if anyone believes we can critically reason for ourselves anymore and make informed decisions. And then we hear God giving commands. Don't kill. Don't steal. And not only is God giving the commands, but, he, but, but God is giving those commands to Israel, the people he loves. The people he loves more than anything else, though all the earth is, is his.
Why does Israel need to be commanded by God? Could it be that God is offering Israel an opportunity to regain their focus on him? A focus that they lost. A focus that at times they seem not to be interested in. Could it be, why would he have to give commands to people who are going to church. And yet he does. Get out of here. Don't be doing that stuff here. Don't you know what you're supposed to be about when you come here? They too seem to have lost their focus. They too seem to be about something other than what they should be. And isn't it true of us as well? As we take stock of our lives in this holy season of Lent, isn't it true of ourselves as well? We too can lose focus. We too can lose sight of God in our life. And even when we come here, I hope this doesn't take too long because I have other things I have to do today. I hope he doesn't preach too long today like he did before. I got to get out of here. And yet isn't this the time not only that we give to God, but isn't this the time when we focus our lives completely on Him? So that what we do here becomes the paradigm for what we do every other day. And yet, in this Lenten season, must we not acknowledge that like Israel, like the folks in the temple with Jesus, we lose our focus on God. And isn't it true that like Israel and those people in the temple we too need to be jolted back. So that we might regain our focus and realize what we are. The chosen people of God. And what we should be. Those who live in a unique and intimate relationship with God. So my smoke detectors are up and working. And I can tell you with a significant amount of certainty, I said nothing to my wife about them. <laughs> I know the guy was trying to be helpful, but maybe a little strong the directive maybe even a little unnecessary the directive is that true in your life too people give you commands and directives that are just unneeded and and, and unnecessary But during the season of Lent, might it be necessary to hear these commands of God? Or are you always 
focused on God each day of your life. 